Shall we begin? Let's begin the show. to know and have it on paper what's going to happen. So if it doesn't happen, then it's some kind of liability on somebody's end somebody gets, you know, taken care of. But the other thing, how are you going to collect on somebody in, in another Asia? country? Exactly. And that's why people want their money up front, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's, I mean it's... Well, I mean, don't they do the, do they do the percentage thing, you know, thirds, you know? First, I mean, they, they will. It depends on yeah. it depends on like the relationship. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Like me knowing Tommy for over a year now. You know what I mean? It's like I believe Tommy. Yeah. Like if Tommy tells me, yo, just come, and bring him. Yeah. All right. I'll get on the plane and come. <laughs> but us is gonna be like, nah, bro. I need to. Yeah. You know, we family, and I need, I, you know, I, yeah. I trust you, yeah. but I don't know, yeah, I don't exactly. know the guys exactly. that you're talking about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Even if I tell him, hey man, like, he my friend, like, like for real, he's my yeah. friend, yeah. like, he'll, he helps me. Yeah. He'll still be like, you gotta go through my attorneys, yeah. you gotta go through my working agent, yeah. my manager's gonna take care yeah. of the paperwork, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. what's gotta happen is, it's the same way in Africa, like, mm. you have to build your relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like you, we catch. Okay, say, all right. I want these people to do a show. All right. So then, what I would do is say, all right, man. My friend Tommy wants to do a show in Korea with you. All right. Well, what's the? Don't worry about all of that right now. Yeah. So this is how I'm gonna have to approach it. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Well, what I need you to do is just, what days are you available? We're gonna get on a plane with Tommy. We go to Korea. We sit down. We eat. We yeah. talk. We hang a little bit, we get familiar with one another, feel yeah. the energy of everybody, mm -hmm. and then we'll discuss the next move of how we want to do a show. Yeah, exactly. And then you'll feel comfortable on your end because you came, you seen everything. You still cool. Yeah, important. you don't worry about anything. And then you be like, hey, you know what, man? Tommy and his guys is like really nice yeah. people, man. Yeah. yeah, okay, so let's figure it out. Yeah. And then we can figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So could you say just a little simple word, how my people, I mean, uh, some musical company guy, anyway, they want to bring some show from Vegas, mm -hmm. so how they prepare the kind of process, could you explain it? Alright, Listen so, carefully. So, so, this is American, they, whatever they do. Hopefully the this. TV volume isn't... So, this is, this is the way we would have to do it. Number one, number two, Number three, process like this. So good for you. So, so number one, you would have to first find out the availability of whoever you're trying to take mm -hmm. to Korea. Mm -hmm. And then number two, mm -hmm. you would have to like show them how mm -hmm. serious you are mm -hmm. and who they're going to be dealing with. Mm -hmm. And then they'll do their due diligence and research with their team mm -hmm. because it's like how everybody has a team, mm -hmm. they have a team also. Mm -hmm. So they'll do their research and check out, you know, the venues and mm -hmm. the people who's trying to put the concerts together mm -hmm. and then they'll make a decision. Mm -hmm. Then three, mm -hmm. they would have to actually come over mm -hmm. and see and visit with you, you and your people, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And see how comfortable it would be with them. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can probably try to get it done then. But the, the way that America does business mm -hmm. and the way the Africans do business and the way the Chinese do business is all different. Mm -hmm. So like when we do business in Africa, mm -hmm. like I was telling you, we come out, we sit, we eat, then we talk about the business. Mm -hmm. Then we get an understanding. Mm -hmm. And understanding might be, all right, we want 500,000, you know, to come and do this. Mm -hmm. All right, so they'll say, okay, well, we'll put 250,000 in an escrow account and a deposit, mm -hmm. right? As soon as you come and you perform, then you get the rest of it. Yeah. That's how America does business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, 
if you want to get somebody to do a show for you, like up front, like you probably have to make it like real enticing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the normal way of doing things is probably won't won't work. No, but the the thing is, like he was explaining to me, the way they do it there. One is it's done in three payments, three installments. I mean, first is like pretty much good faith. Second one is when you get there. Third one is after the whatever. If it's one show or hundred shows after it's done, you know, then you receive the last and final installment. Whether the percentages can always be negotiated, whether it's ten percent first or twenty percent for you know what I mean. But it's he was explaining that's. To me, it was done in three installments, usually. Uh-huh. You know, it's how business is done there in Korea. So, um, <laughs> you show me. Um, so that's what he explained to me, like it was done in three uh-huh. different installments. So, so that's the normal way of doing business. That's the normal way of doing business in Korea, uh-huh. there, what he's you know, dealt with in, in uh-huh. the past. So, uh-huh. you know, it's not like it would be done, you know, oh, do the show, you, we'll pay you after kind of thing, you yeah. know, because nobody would want to work do that. And in America, it's not like that. In America, it's we agree on the price. Yeah. You give us half up front. Yeah. And then when we get there, you deposit that other half. Yeah, exactly. Now, if we're late doing the show starting, then you can deduct. Yeah. You can deduct that. Okay, go forward. Yeah, that's my dog. Excuse me. Hey baby, let me um, call you back. I'm doing a, um, I got another meeting with, with Tommy. You remember Tommy who was here last Sunday? Uh-huh. And then he's got his buddy with him, James. Hey! Hi! Where's your toilet, right? Oh, right there. So let me get done with the meeting and then I'll call you back. Alright, love you. Yeah, so. The, the conventional way of doing business in Asia is in three, three installments, mm-hmm. right? So what we have to do is, is we will have to come to an agreement and a compromise. Mm-hmm. Because like Americans aren't going to be, you know, too moved by that. Mm-hmm. Because they're used to getting half of their money up front mm-hmm. and then the other half once they, mm-hmm. they get there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. Oh, we just have to do a, do a, a compromise. I mean, anything can be done. You know what I mean? Like, we just have to figure out what's comfortable for both sides. Yeah, that, that is my role, actually. Yeah. Your role, my role. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, what about this? It's, uh, I mean, I don't know, but anyway, if we looking for 500 venue size and then not a big famous, but anyway, good reputation, good reputation, somehow, some should have good reputation, that time. how much you prepare money for that? Can you guess around? Mm. They cannot even know price, so. And, and that's the hard part. It's mm-hmm. like, like I was telling you earlier that, mm-hmm. first they're going to ask you the size of the venue, like I can show you right here. Yeah, size of the venue is a flat one, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to ask you, what, what is your budget? Like you said, you, yeah, yeah, sure. you can do more than one show. Remember you were saying, like, we oh, can do sure. a few shows. Oh, it's a meeting. You said, you were in here, or at least, or did you buy it? Oh, I don't know. Not more than two. Can I see outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the other guy who has money he's wanting to invest here. And him and I are going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. i Okay, all right, all right. So they wouldn't, that wouldn't work there. And trying to do something of like maybe a gun show convention wouldn't be there. But the tech show is big. But he has an opportunity also to, to find a convention that's here that would be interesting over there. So say for instance Japan, they have a noodle convention that's very popular. That's the number one show next to our convention 
besides dealing with you know tech and stuff like that so he has an opportunity to find a smaller convention here and they would provide the people tours to come here and whether you hook them up with shows or whatever or strip club and all that pretty much almost like a tour guide thing but setting them up with the hotel on this side and all that and he has a you know all he would have to do is facilitate all that and he has an opportunity right now to do that and all he has to do is find a convention that would be interesting in Korea and then they bring the people okay so our, <laughs> our other partner that's in the tech field yeah he's he's uh he's really yeah. you know a lot of the tech stuff is done over in Israel yeah, yeah. all right so I could talk to him about that because yeah. he's he's on his way back from China he'll be we have a meeting tomorrow yeah. he came in today well tonight he'll come in and I can talk to him about it because that's all he does is yeah. go to these conventions. Yeah, so what he would need is a list of conventions because, as I said before, just because we would think that the convention would work doesn't mean it would work. That's, and that's the and all he would need to do is he would go, because he would kind of have, an, he kind of has an idea as far as that's concerned of what would work and what wouldn't work. You know, doing a show is completely different. But as far as what they would be interested over there as far as convention is concerned he would kind of have a rough you know idea a better idea of that than actually a show you know because the, the, that time changes so much but a convention he can run that by them you know and have an option of three 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 conventions and then set it up from there like i told him i can help him with the hotels and all that stuff you know even if, if i had to go rent a van you know and go take, pick them up myself i mean but Chances are you just go find somebody to So you know, he wants to do the conventions here or in Korea? Here. Bring the tourists here. They want to see the convention. And whether you offered them a package deal, almost like a tour. Uh, uh, like in Vegas. Yeah, like a tour package, mm -hmm. but for a convention. Mm -hmm. Dealing with a convention here in California. So this is what I would need. So I would need, this is what I need, Tommy. You tell me what works in Korea. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like this. I, I can tell you. So no, 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 I, I number, need it. Number one electric show, the most biggest in electric show, like uh, Samsung Galaxy new show. That is CES at Vegas. Name is CES. Consumer Electric something. So CES the most biggest electric show in the world. Electronic so, show. So, so electronic at Vegas. And then Chinese, they buy that kind of license. Last year they start the CES Sanghan. So I mean, CES show they have it's like a performance whatever they do, but that kind of license never they never use that. But Chinese come and then they pay a lot of money. Can I borrow your name in the CES? Mm -hmm. So they do Sanghan. Mm -hmm. So that kind of opportunity, you know, Korean have the most high level electric show there. But we don't have any global brand name. So like uh, this case you know, we can go to CES my chairman some of founder. So we can deal with what about you already sell the CES at Shanghai. So why not solve? So that is so, so good deal. So like uh, anyway that is also promotion part like I don't think mm. the convention part. Well the tech the tech business is like one of the biggest businesses going on right now. Yeah, so that's that's why we partnered up with that guy. Many many guys they control convention or entertainment. So they always looking for here, but like American market is too stubborn, you know. And then many guys come here hard to buy or what you. But this American one reason they never learn the other country language. They actually don't need. Mm -hmm. They don't need the number about question. Mm -hmm. So almost not respect outside USA. This is maybe strong American competence. Maybe I can say stupid American competence. But you know, when we growing up, we used to study outside world because we are small country. So we have to learn American history, French history, Italian history. Mm -hmm. So and we try to learn French, Italian language, American language. So, so small country always have to trade in transaction all over the world. They learn different So we learn about like yeah. a lot of stuff. But America only focus here. But always I say when I'm in America, always market is population in the mm -hmm. time how much spend money. But here only three 
3 billion. How, how many population do we have? In America? Uh -huh. Yeah. 297 billion. Yeah, around like that. So market is five times. Only Korea and Japan and Korea, China, Korea and Japan. That population, five times bigger than here. Yeah. So high, easy to sell. It's $10. Mm -hmm. But it's a Japanese state, enough pay enough. Korean now is growing up, so we can pay enough for kind of stuff. But the most biggest part is Chinese, they can start to spend money. So they can spend enough money for that. For China? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Chinese can buy everything. Japanese can buy That's everything. That's why I'm in business with Japanese. Japanese can buy everything now. So, so you're thinking? So anyway, but it's the weakest part. We can sell this a lot for electric, whatever. But the most hardest, hardest or uh, really top product is uh, Asia try to transaction or trading, whatever, like entertainment thing, or like a service kind of thing, mm -hmm. not product. Mm -hmm. We do product already, but now it's like a service and like the networking. music, networking, movie, or Convention. trading show. Mm -hmm. That is uh, people hard to get stuff here. So anyway, many guys come here, but I mean, feel like America, Japanese, China, America, Korea, then America, Chinese, me, they already brainwashed, so it looks like me, but they are America. So they cannot feel the original, original what we think. Also, I come here that time, I so strange people, you know, feel like I'm alien here, because people are to totally different, yeah. different idea. Then when I first time try getting to Korea, America Korean society, I try to there, but I feel like they are not America, they are not Korean. Mm -hmm. So how person Korean live, they living here, so how to communication. Mm -hmm. So I feel I just better white people, black people better than America Korean mm -hmm. because they color like gray. So sometimes when they have maybe this have have color. When they have opportunity at that time, I'm American. Maybe suddenly bad situation that time, I'm Korean. So go and back, go and back. Uh, so make me angry, you know. I mean, your attitude to say, I'm American, African American, black guy. So I can expect that, what are you gonna do? Uh, white people, what are, they, what are you gonna do? They white people. But America, Korean mean, sometimes American, sometimes Korean, they uh, woo. Yeah. But I know that I gonna be same situation ten years later. Yeah. Because I might have might had little brainwash. Uh -huh. So when I ten years later probably when I meet original Korean, I'm Korean. But my behave behave sometimes fucking American. American. So we don't like that. Yeah. I mean my situation yeah. that I'm not playing American Korean. Yeah. Because I gonna be like that. Yeah, ten years. Auto automatically little by every day. Uh -huh. So we don't want to make a deal with that kind of people because they color gray. Yeah. Gray. So probably you don't like that color people. You know? Sometimes here, sometimes there. You know? So if you some of me, he acting like black guy action, but suddenly white guy action, suddenly black guy action, change a lot. Huh. That time you feel bothered, you know. What the fuck this guy, you know? No, no, no. No. Remember the last con remember the last conversation we had? Mm -hmm. See the way that you succeed mm -hmm. is you don't see color. Mm -hmm. You quiet. Mm -hmm. I watch. Yeah, right. Because everybody is content. Mm -hmm. A man from China, the reason he thinks and comes up with his con mm -hmm. his conclusions on everything mm -hmm. is because it's content that he's allowed himself to see, mm -hmm. hear, or read. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Same way with black guy. Mm -hmm. He grows up in a neighborhood yeah, right, where right. his content is limited. So when he deals with an Asian or deals with a, a white guy, he deals with him in a situation where he's limited because yeah, yeah. his his whole upbringing, yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't, 
You see what I'm saying? That's why when you first meet me, I say hardly nothing, right? Remember? I just listen. And then I come to a conclusion, good guy, bad guy, money, full of shit. You see what I'm saying? So that's why me and you still friends now because I know you're a good person. I don't look at you as Asian. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the, unfortunately, what he was, what he's trying to say is, he used the wrong word about meaning color because, or race, mm -hmm. because he doesn't, his vocabulary is not limited. He's limited. Mm -hmm. So what he meant was like as far as country of origin based, like dealing with somebody from Korea that comes here mm -hmm. after they become like I call it the California lifestyle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the women, I don't need a man kind of thing. You know, other countries. But once they, again, that's the content. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I'm saying. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. But what I'm saying. What his words, you know, what the way he was describing it is, is meaning like, you know, because they become the, the their their sense of col you know, culture and the things like the first thing a Korean they become programmed exactly, and the thing with like Korea, first thing you do when you meet somebody, how old are you? You know, if he's the oldest, no matter what he says, whether he's wrong or right, because he's older, you have to respect it and you shut up. Yeah, me and Tommy same age. You know, <laughs> what I'm saying with Korea, with Korean, you know, culture, uh -huh. that's the way they do. You know, yeah. here it doesn't matter how old you are. Whether you're 20 years old, he could talk shit to a 50 year old. That will never happen in Korea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different cultural background. Yeah. But what he was saying with the Korean coming here after a while, because he's, you know, the guy that he just got a phone call with. He's worked with, he's originally from base Korea, but he came here, he got education here, and he's a businessman, it goes back and forth. Okay. And so far, he's had a karaoke bar, car wash, all this stuff, but the Koreans that he's worked with has stolen the money from him, and just cheated him out of him, uh -huh. and he's, he's screwed. But, like, what he wants to do is, like, because, you know, he, he was saying is after a while they become here, they become, you know, Americanized is probably a better word. Uh -huh. And they go through, and, and, and the concept, you forget about they, asking. They come with the games. Exactly. Because, because exactly. That's, what I, that's what I'm saying about, <clears throat> like, everybody is content. Yeah. Like, me going back and forth to Africa, I'm totally different. Yeah. Like, when I came back, everybody was like, damn, man, you look <laughs> different. To you? Because I understand now that yeah. I have it really good. Yeah. I don't take it for granted no more. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? It. Like I, I stay in a 1.3 million dollar house. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm watching people with no shoes. Yeah. Well, some people got on flip flops with no shirt. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they happy, man, because yeah. they they alive. You see what I'm saying? So my whole attitude now is is like none of this shit right here really matters because I can't put it in a coffin. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But what matters is is being a good person yeah. and doing what I can to help humans, mm -hmm. period, yeah. be better, you yeah. know what I mean, so, I mean, I get it, like, yeah. I was like that too, I was yeah. programmed with America, yeah. even though I'm mm -hmm. traveling with Usher all over the world, going to Asia, Australia, everywhere, yeah. I'm still just getting a little bit of content, because I'm just there for a second, yeah. but if I'm sure, if I stay in Korea yeah. for five years, yeah. then I'm going to be different. She's like, because I went to Texas, see, I'm the only one in my family born here in California, everyone else in my whole family has been born in a southern state and I have that mentality and that way of thinking because like women they all think oh well, your country you you were born in California I was born in Ray I was born in Downey in LA uh -huh. I walked through every project there are in LA white uh -huh. I've been through them all and I'll tell you to describe them to and people trip out when I tell them that I've, I've done it yeah. you know what I mean but mentally and the way I think is like I get along better with country lifestyle and the hospitality of you know walking down the street saying hello and having a conversation for five minutes with you know here they look at you what the fuck do you want you I don't have nothing for you and they walk away but you know what man <laughs> like my whole thing with, with people is, is this just because you have more money than me mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you're richer than me mm -hmm. that means you have more money than me yeah. you might not have kids yeah I got kids yeah. Your health might be failing you. Yeah. You got all that money. Yeah. My health is good. Yeah. I could one day be more wealthier than you are. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. If I stay the way that I am. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So all of that stuff equals out, bro. Yeah. At the Eventually, end of the day, yeah. it equals out. Like we all gotta go. Yeah. And we can't take nothing with us. Exactly. But what you can do is leave here with people still speaking your name. Exactly. He did this for people. He yeah. did that for people. He did this for people. And they were all different type of people. It wasn't just black people, white people, yeah. or Asian yeah. people that he just No, he helped the whole world, yeah. man. Yeah. That's that's my thing. Yeah. 
I got to tell Tommy. Tommy, you want to be a billionaire? Tommy said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can help. I was like, bro, like, I'm into gold. Like, yeah. if you go and tell your investors that you can take them to Africa with me and I can show them mines, right, that's actually up and running. Like on my phone, I can show you the workers in the mines and everything. Show you the product coming out. I can show you raw stones, yeah. right, and I can show you oil deals. Yeah. Man, young people would jump all over that because commodities run the world. Music don't run the world, brother. It don't. Technology is, is a forefront right now. But commodities run the world, man. Yeah. And I had to realize that because I'm in music. I'm a music person. Yeah. But when I got that opportunity yeah. to go to Africa to and see yeah. that content, yeah. it's like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. So everything is weighed. All currencies all the way around the world is weighed by this. Yeah. Or everybody needs this oil mm -hmm. to build and do certain things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where the money is and the technology. So, I need a list. Yeah. That's all I need. I need a list of what he needs. Yeah, sure. what, what your investors would like to get into. Then I can go and I can say, okay, I'll call this person for this. I'll call this person for that. Call this person for this. I can show them what you sent me. This yeah. is the shows. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, this is the yeah. tech part that they want to get into. Yeah. This is the. See, yeah, I just found out about what he was saying here about bringing your show over there. The way the other thing was, he just told me the other day, and the things he was showing me was finding a convention here. Yeah, you well, said so this is what we got to do. That's why I said I need a list. Yeah, yeah. So you give me a list of what what you actually want to do, and then what we do is is we'll chop it down yeah, yeah. to one, two, and three. Yeah. What's the easiest? What's the most profitable? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And what can take us to number two? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're thinking that the shows can take us to the conventions, you know what I'm saying? Or if yeah. you think the conventions could lead us to the shows. I think that would be two different things. It is. Yeah. But one will catapult the other yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. investment. thing as far as, yeah, yeah I yeah. get you. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if we do this and this comes and he's happy, yeah. then you say, okay, we got this. We can do that as well. It's kind of the same thing with the, you know, dealing with the gold thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I totally get yeah. it. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Maybe Travis. <laughs> say say Korea. Hello Korea, Pedro. Hello Korea. Hi, you guys. Say hello. I'm trying to find this guy. I actually don't need much. I we just discuss concept. Exactly what he needs. Yeah. That's what he needs because he won't focus on it because he's focused on other things. But <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so I was telling him about I, the I have to fix first time budget. Hmm. Fix budget, hmm. right? Rough then, estimate. Then, then I call you how much budget they prepare. Hmm. Then we can start. Hmm. That is simple, right? Yeah. They first fix budget. Yeah, and then we know we need people. to prepare like this yeah. money. So looking for me, that time we can move. Was it like this? Five hundred venue, and how much money we prepare? And how long is good? Two months? Two months tour? One month tour? Mm. I don't think you can. Time is so. Time. So what we would do with that is, is we would have it in different stages, mm -hmm. like. We prepare to offer this for one show. We prepare to offer this for a week. We prepare to offer this for two weeks. Mm -hmm. 
we're prepared to offer this for a month. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That way, you give artists the the idea that okay, now let me look at my schedule. Well, not the artist, but you, the manager, yeah. talk with the booking yeah. agent and be like, all right, so what is what does our dates look like? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I want to take him over to Korea. So I mean, I feel like this: if you try to make one big concert, me, just one day, one day, one or two performance. About 500 venue me, I feel probably, and promoter so then me like a minimum two weeks or one month tour. Then so, must be so, 500 so, venue not big. So, so it'll be in different venue. venues, not that same venue. I know, one venue. One venue. Yeah, because we have a really good venue there, and then we have connection is venue owner. Mm. So I think one month. Minimum two weeks, maybe one month, maybe two months, but a long time learning performance. So, so actually, don't need original from Vegas, but we can buy, uh, we can buy their name, name, and then they prepare a second group. So why is to save money also here? They just training and send to Korea. Oh, uh, so so you saying not don't use the original show? But have somebody that mimics that same show. Like, uh, okay, example, Blue Man. Uh -huh. Blue Man, original quality performance. Uh -huh. there. Their so contracts. We use <laughs> trick, like uh, we, we put up Korea. Blue Man, original come, crew come to Korea, but just one or two men. But the other crew just retrain. Uh -huh. You know? So you don't think. You don't think that so actually one just one maybe one or two original crew go to Korea, mm -hmm. then they replace the other guy, not main part. Mm -hmm. So and then that's just like that's just, not, that's just, like, just train little guy. That's not gonna work. Tell right. you why it's not gonna work? Because right. when you have a group, right? It's us three, mm -hmm. right? We got a group, mm -hmm. right? Somebody comes and says, "Hey, Rico." I want you to come mm -hmm. and train two other guys yeah, to, to do what come over here and do a show. Mm -hmm. You two guys gonna have a problem with that. Yeah. You're gonna have a problem with that. Yeah. Because I'm using our name yeah. to go make money for me. Mm -hmm. And you guys yeah. not gonna get none. Mm -hmm. That's never gonna work. Mm -hmm. That's why people break up, like Boys the Men and yeah. New Edition and all of them broke up. All these groups. You can look at any group. That, that is a singer part, I mean performance part, always three or four main actors there, mm -hmm. but it's around six or seven is not main. So we choose one to go to Korea, that is from original, and then we prepare the other crew and send to Korea. He's saying it's also an option. So we really save a lot of money, but never don't have any trouble original show, I'm a soccer so they always do like that way. They go to Shanghai to at that time. Just just one or two main crew go there uh -huh. and then they do like a supervisor. Uh -huh. Then they prepare a little lower quality. Little lower quality. Uh -huh. But still people respect. Not the original so whole cast is all original. So, so I'm pretty sure the, the cast they they're not using sure. any of the cast. What they do is, is they hold auditions. Yeah. So what they do for for people who do that, they hold auditions. They see what people do. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now here comes the guy you talk to, promoter or manager for the Blue Man, mm -hmm. right? All right, boom. All right, I got opportunity in Korea. Yeah. I want to take you know one or two of your guys mm -hmm. and then just have them come over. Yeah. So then they can go in their Rolodex exactly. from the people that tried out and didn't make it. Mm -hmm. And then those people, they will contact and be like, hey, we got an opportunity for you to make some money. Mm -hmm. um, you need to come. We're going to train you to do the show mm -hmm. that you originally wanted to exactly. do. And you go to Korea and you're going to get this amount of exactly. money. But that's where the budgets and all of that come so in. So we say that, we say that like this. Cats. Do you remember the cats? Cats. Cats. Cat. Which mm -hmm. call them cats. Mm -hmm. Or Miss Cycle. Or Zika uh, and High. Or Blue Man. That group always they call that world tour, mm -hmm. but it's not original. Mm -hmm. Just one or two guys mm -hmm. go there and they performance. But that is true, not lying. Original crew one or two guys stay there. Mm -hmm. So we call that 
original crew come to Korea, come to Japan, come to China. So this is a, how, this how is a world, world tour. Well, so see, you're, they they already they branded, you know, because whoever owns Cats, the musical company or whatever, they're paying them, but instead of using all of Cats, the one that they use in Las Vegas then, or in, in then, New York. Then the other idea like this, okay, this is Bloom and Brooks. They do focus on Las Vegas and then just one or two. Not actually don't need the main guy. But four or fifth guy come, go to Korea together and then anyway do Bloom and Brooks. Using name and music, whatever source you use that, right? Mm -hmm. Then, the other main hit is I'm Korean Idol. I'm a very famous Korean Idol. Mm -hmm. But you never heard about my name, mm -hmm. right? But the local people, they really like that. Mm -hmm. So we just, we do our way. Okay, just join this group. This is from Las Vegas show. So you're going to be fucking big advantage. So you join America group. So we just, but that I do really busy, mm. too busy. But we just show one or two time show together. Mm. Then he advertised himself. Then first time we when we do promotion, that time really easy to get a ticket, buy a ticket, mm. because one idol joined this kind of show. So that is tricky way. So probably they think about their way. Also I think about their way. So when I stay in Korea, some America show come to you come to Korea that time I used to call the hey bro send me your kid I train one week and then I'm gonna do it one or two show and then I send to send to you again so I pay like this for you and then they sent to me but he's a huge idol like a Justin Bieber so we can handle that I cannot handle just people here but I can handle they can handle Korea Justin Bieber easy too he can just, 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 just a connection with because they got just, big stars in Korea just, that are not known here. He has he can use their face or so name. So, right? so, so good to see you. Yeah. You ain't hear me yet? Uh -huh. So you ain't there. So so not only not then the most good opportunity mean Japanese course it was the control for Asia culture. But now, Korea culture, K-pop culture, whole Asia. So we can easy to contact bring Japanese idol, Chinese idol. So we just join this couple of show and then just send to Japanese entertainment company. I say not small, like a Sony, you know, the most major company we can send to. Your idol come to Korea, join America or do like this. So now. Let's make a deal. We sent to Japan from Hollywood or from Las Vegas style. We can handle that. They can they gonna fucking pay a lot. But China, but Korean money like this, Japanese money like this, almost similar nowadays. But Chinese pay ten times always. They crazy, I mean just I tell you, just Korean idol, you never heard about that kind of name. GD, you never heard about GD, but GD make more, make more money than Maru 5. Because Chinese pay 10 times more than nowadays. So just Korean little seller go there, they got a million, million. So that opportunity means if you put some little show in Korea, mean just easy to go to Japan and China. So Chinese, if maybe if you try Chinese either going to Korea, they easy to come to Korea. But they hard to come to here when it's a lot of stuff different. So if you just put Chinese side on one show, like a Bulume, just I example Bulume show, you just do like this five minutes. Just five minutes. But we need to sell the ticket because then I do to the drum with the Bloom and Grow. It's a trick way. And then we can advertise Chinese idol, Japanese, the most high, high level idol. So that kind of way, just, they don't need a skill just for acting like that, whatever, you know. That is the easy part. So make a trick, like a promotion. So I already told my idea, if we do like this, 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 
so we can use a lot of trick. Anyway, show most sell the ticket first, whatever goes to bad show. Sell the ticket first. Then if we sell the ticket, that time we can handle a lot of shit. Making it bigger by using but the Asian people. The other, the other thing, the other thing. Famous first, Asian people. So. First time we had to get Lumen was so called right? So we try just little show. Then we just put their idea. And then that time they easy to spend money for the other show, the other show. Then we have to show that first. That's why my idea is like a, 30,000 venue there, so we show that just one time, so maybe success. But if you use 500 venue, then we learning every day around two months. That time, career promoter easy to set, bring a lot of entertainer. For sure, this for sure. The more easy to promotion after the show. I'm doing it. Yeah, the big show. Even from Tennessee, so you see how he introduced himself to <laughs> so that kind of I thought so. so actually, we, don't need great show. I think and we just uh, we just put the this is from Vegas. This is from Vegas show. They all original crew come to Korea first time. And then gonna be work for start. So, so easy to advertise. You know. So what we need is, is we would need. So anyway, I fixed the first time budget. That is my mission. Uh -huh. But you think about this, uh, what am I doing my tricky way, like not original, not actually bad, but high level, but first time just a little tricky put this way, this way, this way. So let me, let me, let me ask you this, so. It's good to see you. Well, good to see you. Long time to see you. Here. So we we'll need, mm -hmm. we we'll need to know what will work in mm -hmm. Korea. Cause like if we sit down and we start thinking, all right, well shit, we can put, we can get call, you know, Justin Bieber, we can call, you know, all these entertainers. Mm -hmm. But if Korea don't want to see them, that's why. I do. Yeah. <coughs> so we need to know what what would they like to see. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they would like to see Circus Olay or the Blue Men like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I can make the call to my boy who. Did the choreographer for Circus Olay and entertain him with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, can you put together a crew to go and do a Circus Soleil show in Korea? I'm sure he can do it. You know what I mean? But I would need to know what Korea would actually spend money on. It was Circus Soleil last year come to Korea. But it's a Circus Soleil, they have 10 budget deeper, right? I mean? They have 10 budget deeper on Circus Soleil. Ten people. Ten buzzer. Ten different. Ten versions. Ten versions. Ten versions. Ten versions. Okay. Different. Michael Jackson soccer sole. Yeah. Beatles soccer sole. Yeah. Some kind of uh, around around now. Uh, ten different buzzer. Uh -huh. Then soccer sole come to Korea. This is the last time doing Korea uh -huh. because that show is garbage already. So nobody watching. So, watch it. so that all kind of equipment have to throw away because new budget, new budget, new budget. Mm -hmm. So this is no value here. But they go to Korea that time, first time come to Korea. So they success, they sell every ticket. But he buy cheaper price, but so called solar major. We're not gonna use this a lot of stock because this is garbage. I was telling Tommy that um the guy from Sweden that does the circus LA, they brought the Sweden producer that he wanted us to work with. <coughs> Remember he that's what he does? I was telling him like we gotta know what Korea is gonna want, because like they might not want to see Chris Brown, they might not wanna see Usher, they might not wanna see like You know that, you know. Like this. <coughs> anyway, I work with so Chris Brown easy to contact, right? Just call. But it's a tragedy is nobody interested in Chris Brown, our market. In Korea. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So Eminem, me, we respect a lot. How white guy, you know, how to get in lap like a damn mean black guy play country song. Uh -huh. We feel like that. So when you Eminem call, that time we respect a lot. What a white guy doing lap like that and then 
there. Uh -huh. But when he flew out in Russia, come to Asia many times. It goes a little different way. He did not try to find yeah, he's gone Jackson way. He's gone one more than yeah. But he went Georgia. many times because we like it's Russia style. Uh -huh. So we, when he come, he come to Japan and Korea many times, right? Uh -huh. So like we we have a little respect with Russia style, not like her. But it's when we saw, we respect like a Stevie Wonder. Well, we yeah, can, yeah, we can yeah, get yeah, to Stevie yeah. Wonder. Yeah, yeah. It was even but I don't Stevie wonder, wonder come to Korea that had his success. Sell a ticket. And then Maroon 5 set up a ticket. <coughs> and then what is uh, some artist, Didos guy. He created Didos product. Adidas? Yeah, Didos Run and Run. Run and Run. Oh, Run and Run. run. Uh, yeah, we respect he have created some and then the other always I say that this so when you look around outside world you have to speak slowly and easy to repeat, repeat, repeat uh -huh. and completely understand. So yeah, he's not like that. The evident song also when you have one shot, one opportunity. Uh -huh. So easy to completely understand when you're rapping. Uh -huh. And then mm -hmm. you want also you are so sweet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Yeah, the Asian market, they, they like to be around the same. So, so, speak slowly, each word, repeat, repeat again, that time, completely understand. So, easy to say, and then, I mean, hit the sensation word. But, you know, I mean, like, oh, when you do original gangster rap, they talk fast. Uh -huh. So, even I'm stay here. Around studio, but I can get maybe ten percent more. <laughs> <laughs> so it's almost hard way. So I remember Travis song. I still remember what he saw. I'm single now. I'm single now. <laughs> That's been a year. I'm single now. Yeah. I still remember. Yeah. You know, how amazing because I just one time. So you didn't recognize, but I still remember. Wow, this is a very corporation. That time. I remember that, uh -huh. but that is also, you know, why just people so popular in the world, not only America? He always said, baby, baby. It's love. But a, a lot of baby, but each baby he said, baby, I love you, baby, I stand my boy, baby, I miss you. So mm -hmm. just a little boy, when he say baby, but he knows boy, feel like, I love you, I like you. How? So, only babies. Right. Actually, there's some only baby, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twenty times, but touched all over the world. Yeah. But anyway, all kind of some same, but anyway, still language better there. Mm -hmm. 